talking points as far as how agents talk to customers and uh, it does not appear to be on our side. We pay, try to share a meal with the Indian family and try to gather with close friends and running the local platform. This week, are being propagated to the various systems, so it's not just in one place, but in all places. In terms of sales from yesterday, we sold. You guys thought I was gonna be there when I have a wonderful home I can work from? <laughs> well, thank you so, so much, Todd, for inviting me. Let me share my screen. I, ah, I finished my first half of the day. Well, it's only 11.18. I just finished my coffee. Well, now I really finished it. But yeah, I made it through the first half of my day. It feels good. I'm trying to see if I have any more meetings this morning or I speak too soon. Oh yeah, I'm good. It feels so good to be productive and I literally only have one, two, two more things left on my to-do list and it's 11 a.m. My next meeting is until three. So I'm gonna knock out some work just because my meetings are done does not mean the grind has not stopped. to sit on Snow's lap and distract her in my, her meeting so she can't get anything that she's supposed to do done in the way she wants to do it because there's a dog sitting on her lap so she can only type with one hand and then he like lays on her wrist so excuse me so she can't really use her mouse and she clicks on the wrong things and she sends the wrong files to people and my name's Frankie if you forgot. Obviously for lunch I have some ramen and I eat it with seaweed snacks just to give it a little extra kick I like wrap it around I wrap the noodles around the seaweed mm -mm -mm. so much flavor and I let some of the other seaweed like melt into the noodles I've been eating this all week, like my sodium levels are probably sickening. I'm also watching this video by Grace Beverly called How to Really Be Really Really Productive Without Getting Overwhelmed because that's something I struggle with. I wanna like, I wanna do it all, but you can't. <laughs> but I love to hear that like from other people who live or lead really productive lives that you can still be successful and not be productive all the time because that's how I like to live my life. Okay, my nap went like a lot longer than I expected, but if you need to recharge, there's nothing wrong with that. So it's now seven and it's Wednesday, so you know what that means. It's Married at First Sight Day. Um, my BFF Jada is heading over as we speak. I just went to grab some Chipotle, got some chips and guac, and the tacos, love the tacos. Um, but yeah, Wednesday is literally one of my favorite days of the week. If you're watching the season of Married at First Sight, what do you think about Justin and Alexis? Justin is one of the scariest, like, okay. I'm not gonna say what I really feel about Justin cause it's just rude and there's no need to be this rude for no reason, but. I'm gonna say, I don't like him. No, I, he's really weird. 
Really, all the couples are weird this season. Except one, kind of. But they're starting to get a little weird. But yeah, do you guys watch Married at First Sight? I and mean, if you don't, you need to start. Dang. He really want that mayor then to give away his dog. Like, they're about to get a divorce and he already gave his dog away. Right. No, I don't want to be married to him. Damn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Just fine. Okay, you are doing a great job, and your results speak for themselves. Period. Uh, okay, I go through these phases at work where I feel so good at my job, and I feel happy. I feel powerful at work and every few weeks like it doesn't happen often but every few weeks something happens at work where I feel I feel tested so what's being tested is my ability to solve problems my ability to work with others through conflict and challenge One thing I'm getting really good at though is figuring out ways to bring myself back down. This is my normal state here. Sometimes I'm low when I'm like tired or when I'm tired or burned out. But when I'm back good, I'm happy, I'm excited, I'm motivated, I'm ready to work, I'm ready to take on new challenges. But then I get up here when things become overwhelming and challenging and I get scared and I get, I become less confident. But I've learned how to bring it back down. And I do that through breathing, mentorship, and having a conversation with myself. So I, I'm not going to get into what exactly the work situation is, but I will say it's imperative to have people at work in your corner, people at work to tell you when you're wrong, people at work to tell you when you're right, people at work to give you solutions, people at work to be a sounding board, people at work to support you. You need to have people in your corner, not just one. Get as many as you can. And two, one thing that I learned today is always strive to have a great relationship with anyone that you work with. I just, going back to what I was feeling, and I say was because I'm over it now, I do have a little bit more work to do on getting to that solution, but emotionally I'm over the situation. But right now, thanks to my mentors, thanks to my friends at work, um, and thanks to the work that I put in to like just breathe but things can get to you work can get to you because it got to me this morning it got to me one thing that I, I am finding myself struggling with is I'm a people pleaser at work so I'll take on anything and if I'm told something, I, I oftentimes don't challenge it. But today I'm gonna take the initiative to challenge something because I know I'm doing well. I've been validated in my hard work and I want to stand up for myself. I feel distracted by th what I'm dealing with, this challenge I'm dealing with at work. It's stopping me from like, <laughs> feeling excited to work today where I typically feel that way every day. I typically feel excited to work every day. This sucks right now, but this is a problem solving opportunity that I think I have a solution for. 
and ultimately it's gonna make me a better employee a better person I just in the moment I'm not happy to deal with it <laughs> but I am open to the good that's gonna come out of it Thank you.